It's not scary, but it can be kind of hard to actually make it to the landing. I think Mackie coaching is just an exercise of semantics. That was a good realization. Wish I'd thought of that. Yes! Nice job! He's back in his cross bike, coach. It's okay. I'm gonna stand on the lip of the jump and fret a little bit. But I don't like drops. Hi everybody, I'm Sid. I'm Mackie. Welcome back to our channel. We are here today at the at Glorietta riding the mountain bike trails here. I'm riding the mountain bike trails. As you know from our last vlog, Mackie has a little break in a little bone on his wrist. Just so a little break in a little bone. <laughs> I'm taking advantage of the fact that he can't really ride and roping him into doing some coaching for me because this race this coming weekend has some jumps and features that I am not thrilled about. So we're gonna start out on an easy trail that has some smaller jumps so that we can practice so I can practice <laughs> those and then later we'll work up to doing the trail features which are bigger drops. Following Mackie on a road bike. This is a sight that no one has seen for a long time. Like six years. Six years. This is the first thing. It's obviously rollable but Sid's goal is to land on the nice landing transition right past that tree. So this first thing that I'm gonna ride is just like a little step down. It's not scary, but it can be kind of hard to actually make it to the landing, especially when you're just starting right here. So it's good practice for getting that pop. probably want to go a little higher up to get a little more speed yeah. but I would focus mostly on the like essentially bunny hopping off the top. This time I'm going up a little farther because didn't quite have the speed I needed. Sid's timing is good like she's bunny hopping right at the end which is great. She's just not bunny hopping hard enough. Ah that was better. I'm pretty sure Sid's up there sassing me. I think Mackie coaching me is just an exercise of semantics. He says, do this. And when that doesn't get the desired result, he says, do the opposite of this. Let's see if that works. I'm really not super confident inspiring. Go, Mackie, go! We've moved down. We're on this next little double over here. Okay, that was a front wheel case. What is your problem? Speed is not the limiting factor here. She's getting frustrated, understandably, because it sucks when you're working on something and it doesn't like click immediately. But like, this is a big jump. So from here, like the takeoff, to here is somewhere in the 10 to 12 feet range. So we're talking like a solid gap. So I'm encouraging her not to get frustrated and feel like she can't even hit a little jump because it's not a little jump, it's a big jump. It doesn't have a big lip, but it's a gap and it's long. I want her to remember that like she's improved a lot because it used to be like, oh, this is like a three foot gap jump and she wouldn't hit it. Now she's working on like a 10 foot gap jump. Significant improvement. That was so much better! I wonder if part of my problem is I always stop right after doing things. That's a really good point. So I'm not really like, because this time I was just like, I'm just gonna hit the corner. Because before I've been starting to stop like here, so I have to not go that far. So that I, can I want you to go do it again, and I want you to hit the next three things. Yeah. And then that I'll... might be why my first jump's always better, because I'm like going through You're it. You're going through it. 
Okay, so it's like I want you're you. Breaking a board. Yeah, you have to punch through the board. Look at the board. Yes! Nice job! Well, I think you may have figured something out. I just stopped thinking about the jump and just focused on the next part. Yep. And then I didn't have to worry about the jump anymore, so I could do it. Yep. That was a good realization. Wish I'd thought of that. She's much smarter than me. He's riding his cross bike, coach. It's okay. I am extremely proud of you. I really oh, am. Shucks. No, seriously, like, you hit that jump perfectly. When we go work on the features on Jagged Axe, we're not actually gonna work on the features. We're gonna work on the corners and the sections right after the features. As you probably noticed, each one of those clips got progressively darker, and I think we, yep, there's some thunder are gonna get stormed out for the rest of our session for today, which is actually a really good thing because New Mexico needs rain so much right now. And for the race this weekend, if we don't get at least a little bit of rain, it is just gonna be very sketchy dust bowl. So we will pick up tomorrow. I think that was a really valuable little practice because definitely realized that like the more I think about something, like the worse I get at it but I'm so used to like stringing things together in a race that as soon as I like start just thinking about like a trail as the whole piece, it's like I stop obsessing over the feature and suddenly I just do it, which is definitely proof that my issues with jumping are probably like 110% mental. We are about to head out to Jagged Axe Trail so that I can stare at some drops and hopefully do them too. <laughs> Mackie's laughing at me. We are here at the very end of Jagged Axe. And this is technically it's rollable, but if you are carrying any kind of speed into it, you basically have to hit it as a drop. So it's the smallest drop. So we're gonna start off with this one. After you hit the drop, Sid, I want you to hit this little like side hip burmy thing. Alrighty. Warm up, warm up. Ooh, that was a little scary. How did the first drop look? Drop looked great. It looked very controlled. It looked like you landed like downhill just the way you'd want so that you weren't like landing rear wheel first. I'm trying to decide if I should can go faster. Yes, I, that was gonna be my recommendation. Number two, a little bit faster. This time Sid's gonna work on pumping harder on the two like little rolls right before it and just generally trying to carry more speed because she's got plenty of speed coming in and she's scrubbing a little bit too much. She could scrub less speed and then carry more of it through the, uh, through the drop. Is that better? Much better. You were going significantly faster that time. As you guys saw, that last time was perfect. Plenty of speed. It made the little double thing afterwards, which she won't actually hit in the race, but it made it like way smoother because she was just carrying so much more yeah, speed. We'll it in the race. Maybe you would hit it in the race just to be cool. Yeah. All right, I like it. Fights a few seconds, seconds to look cool. That's right. It's worth a few seconds to look cool. <laughs> be more awesome, Sid. That's worth a few seconds. So this is the next feature. You can see it's a nice drop here. Sid has hit this one before. Hashtag bigger than it looks. Bigger than it looks. No, it's a. This is a serious drop. It's a good one. It's, you know. Like you take off there and then you land down here. So it's fairly long. What's your plan of attack? First, I'm gonna stand on the lip of the jump and fret a little bit. <laughs> okay, good plan. No, I actually find that drops always look smaller when you stand on the lip of them versus when you stand to the back. I'm gonna pace it out a little bit. This is the part where you can see where you're gonna land. Mm -hmm. So that's good. I'm worried about that little rock and pine cone. I don't even think you guys can see it on here. It's so small, but that's what she's oh. worried about. <laughs> oh. 
Well, shoot, that was pretty darn good for a first time in. You did not go far enough, and I think maybe you were a little bit too far back in the saddle, like over the saddle. Round two. That was beautiful. I think you should do it two, three more times yeah. and really solidify it. I think the 29er carries speed better than my old bike through this, which makes this less scary because you're not like searching for speed at the last second. I am so stoked that she's hitting this thing so well because it took her like 10 run-ins or something to even hit it last year. And she did not like hitting it. Like she would finish and be like, <gasps> and like now she's just hitting it like boom, no problem. It's so cool. Nice. I think I'm pretty pleased with this. I think I will ride it again, obviously, when I ride the whole trail. I'm happy. Here we are, just riding the road bike. Mackie has just told the doctor that he's been riding his road bike. Do you think this is what the doctor imagined road riding being like? This is the scariest feature on this trail. There's no question. In case you're thinking it's just a large rock in the trail that you go around, it is not. It is a drop. So, the stop is not as long. No, not it's nearly. Taller. Yep. I think the thing that I really don't like about it is that it's kickier and it's flatter. Yeah, so it's, it's a harder drop because it kicks at the beginning and the landing isn't as nice. But it is smaller. Significantly. I mean, the, just the distance you have to go, you're going four feet, six feet? Whereas the last one you were probably hitting like eight to 10 feet. Yeah, but distance I don't think is usually my problem. It's no. the positioning and I yeah. worry at this one a lot that you're gonna get like just bucked. Yeah. If it were flat, I think I would probably not be as free. Like if this rock were flat yeah. to flat. Yep. You don't like it. I don't like it. I love it, love it, love it. Whoa. -oh. The good thing about both of these drops is that the runouts are like really easy. The runouts are beautiful. Which almost might be bad for me because if I were focused on the runout, I might forget about this. So step one was stand at the top and fret. What was step two? Do a drop dance. Yeah. And then step three, do the drop. Well, I like standing at the point and seeing what you're gonna see at the point where you have to commit to it. Yeah. Because that's something when you don't do that and you're like standing on the edge and you're like, oh, I just land there. Then you get here and you're like, uh -oh. Where's the edge? I can't where see is, it. Like, where am I going? My recommendation would be if you are thinking about it, which I think you should consider it at least. I'm certainly thinking about it. Yeah. Is that you should go up and you should roll in to the non committal point. All right, roll in number one. See how it feels. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Roll in number two. Perfect line. Nice speed. That was great, Sid. <laughs> this is fine, but it's like the, you're in a position to go down that and you need to just like get back on the top of the bike before you go off this. And I'm not sure I'm quite executing that. To be honest, I would be shocked if Sid hit this. Not because I don't think she can, but because this is a scary drop. Like this is definitely the drop that I think about on this trail because it does kick you up and like you have to be really good about like pushing back down on the backside to like land good and flat so the fact that she's considering it is awesome and huge because this is a freaking big drop it is it's a big drop so I'm really stoked and super proud of her what are you thinking I'm just having trouble like envisioning it yeah, I just don't really see like how I would do it, mm -hmm. which makes me kind of not want to do it right now. Yeah, no, that's fair. No, not I today. Like it. It's too scary. Sid ditched me because she found some of the girls to ride with. I'm gonna ride down the climbing trail. I'm super stoked. She didn't hit this one, but I'm just I'm so impressed with how well she hit the other one and that she was considering this one. Awesome. I'm gonna try this one fast because I'm afraid when I do it fast, I'll die if I don't practice it fast. 